Let's beat him up. Alright. Let's beat him up. I'm just going to keep the stream going. I can split it up later. We should play that mech game. That game is really fun. Yeah, let's do that one. I do the mech game. I just played a little bit of it. Alright, I'm gonna go. What game? The mech, uh, it's the mech called, game. What was it called? Armored Warriors. Oh, I can change it to the Japanese version, which is Powered Gear. We just we switched it up to uh to the beat 'em up. Did We're gonna go to did, did you find my game? I'm going to join lobby. I created and a game. armored armored warriors, yeah. Yep. It's weird that you have to select the particular game in order to find the person's lobby. I should just be able to find your lobby. Yeah, right. I don't know. Let's see, I'm not finding your uh June your game Ju session. Junhan just uh joined me. So where what? are you? Get out of here, Junhan. <laughs> where are you at? Jun Junhan. Okay. Junhan. Junhan Beach. Did you find Junhan me? Junhan joined the game. Junhan joined the game. There you are. Oh, but where's Junhan? Junhan's in there too. Okay, cool. It's more than two player. Yeah. Well, some of the... I, I don't know if any of these are four players, but so far I've only done three. Like Warriors of Fate was three, and Captain Commando's only three, I think. Yeah, this is definitely a lag, because I played the single player earlier, and it was real fast. Yeah. Kind of sucks that it's so laggy. I hope they fix this. It looks really cool if it weren't lagging. Mm. Like, I like the sprites a lot. Yeah, no, the games look great. Just like, why? Uh, I think we're all trying to fight each other here. <laughs> I think we're not actually. Good thing we can't. Like, a lot of those games... Uh, Junho left session. Junho was like, fuck this shit, I'm out. Junho. June gone. Yeah, June took off. I think it got better. It's like this game is too slow. I know my connection is generally pretty slow, but yeah. I just wouldn't think that it would affect your viewing of the uh, of the game. I mean, it affects everybody's viewing because we're connected together. Run him over! So like Ju so like Junhan left, but Junhan is still playing. So I think the computer just takes over for you if you drop out. Okay. Which is good.
fuel. There's a lot going on on this screen. <laughs> I feel like I have a lot of these games. I have a hard time figuring out, like who who the person is that I'm supposed to be hitting, and who's my actual teammate. I have difficulty with that. You can definitely see how all seven of these games are likely developed by a lot of the same people. Like, because they all have a lot of the same mechanics in there. Same mechanics, yeah. It's kind of the same general feel to it. Well, they all involve you like picking up like food or whatever thing to get to get you extra points or life. Right. It all just seems like kind of a palette swap from game to game. Sort of. Oh yeah, I forgot I still have I have guns. I have ammo. I'm gonna shoot this guy. noticing that a lot of what I like about these games too is the sound design like the the punches feel the sound of the sound of the punches feels satisfying all the explosions and everything there's a gun down here I think I accidentally killed somebody. It was not the bad guy. Because some of these have like a... I mean, I'm sure... I haven't checked the options, but maybe I can turn that off. It was like friendly fire. Right. Because it's really annoying. Because sometimes I get confused as to who's who. I like this orange dude. I'm going to get this guy out of here. Explode. The Ju the Junhan person is still in here. Ju Junhan. Junhan left. Junhan left. Junhan left because Junhan. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Jun Junhan is still here, though, in, in spirit. Win back. I played that game. I like how they use that apostrophe correctly. Did they? I didn't, I didn't notice. Uh, the possessive enemies, plural. If you hit, if you hit the A button, you know you have a you have a gun you can shoot too, right? I think it runs out though. It does, but there, there's ammo on the bottom of the screen. I'm just telling you that nobody, nobody has used it other than me. Where do you think this game stands in the rank of all these games? I, I think it might be better than Final Fight. Mm, I don't know. I like Final Fight. I mean, you know, you don't get to shoot anybody in a, you don't get to fight anybody in a wheelchair. I mean, nothing really beats that. What's your favorite beat em up? Uh, my, my two favorite beat em ups are Street, or Streets of Rage 2 and Final Fight 3. I've said, I've said that before. They're, they're, they're equally matched. I think I might have to go with Ninja Turtles, the arcade game. That's what I, I was actually going to say that, yeah. That's my favorite one. Bogus. 
Eternals in Time was pretty cool. good on the SNES. So, yes. I really like that one because it does. Uh, I'm just those those games can't compete because they don't have the. Uh, they're just not as good as, uh, as Streets of Rage 2 and Final Fight 3. Because those because those games have alternate pathways and they have special moves. It's just way more fun to play than it, than any other beat 'em up. And that's what every beat 'em up game should have. Is alternate alternate pathways and special moves for your characters. I think that's a worthy argument. And because, just like the nostalgia factor. Yeah, yeah, fuck nostalgia though. I'm talking about like what's actually a good game. And uh For me, I would games. say I would still stand by Ninja Turtles because that's the one I had the most fun with. So for me, that's a good game if I was like having a great time playing it. Yeah. Well, the thing with Ninja Turtles for me, though, is like you play it once, that's what the game is. You know how the yeah. whole game is. But those other games have, have alternate pathways, so you can play through it multiple times and it'll be different every time. That's why it's better. And I want to be clear that I mean the actual arcade game, not the one on the yes. NES. Right. No, no, I know. And I have that one on GameCube, and it's you know, you pl- you play through it like you play through it one time, and that's it. You won't play it again for a while. Same with Simpsons, I guess. Yeah, the Simpsons is pretty damn good. I think Beautiful Joe is pretty damn fun. If you want to like, if I was really digging, oh, yeah. it'd be like Beautiful Joe is a, an actual like somewhat strategic beat em up game. I wouldn't consider that a beat em up game though. You would not. No. But it was a beat em up game. I mean, you can you can fight people in it. But you like did combinations of it like melee attacks and stuff to fight like waves of enemies and you also buy like uh, upgrades and stuff I mean that's about as much a beat em up as a Bayonetta is so you, have a you, lot would, of, you yeah. don't consider Bayonetta a beat em up game okay I consider it an action game uh, I think Bayonetta is a beat em up game too mm. if there's like waves and waves of enemies and you're just like defeating them with melee attacks that's how I that's what I consider to be a beat em up game like Dynasty Warriors, that's a beat 'em up game. Yeah, I don't know. I consider it's Dynasty just like Warriors mindless, be, like, to be Dynasty like, Warrior games. <laughs> I really dislike Dynasty Warriors. They're, they're I like I like the first couple I played on the PS2. I'm not gonna lie. Just I was impressed by the amount. Hyrule of... Warriors was okay. I mean, I got my I got my worth of that. It's sort of it's sort of like coincided with Lord of the Rings movies, where like. All these crazy like war scenes were happening and all this action and it was kind of cool to see that recreated on, you know, these massive amounts of enemies all at once that you were defeating. Yeah, it's more about like, uh, more about like areas and stuff and uh, guarding guarding spots or whatever. I just yeah. like the Dynasty Wars or games that I played. Were just like so repetitive. Yeah, no, this has a lot of repetitive. They're, they're pretty right? repetitive. I mean, I had there were there was enough extra stuff added to Hyrule Warriors that I played it for a good amount, but I wouldn't buy it again or buy any other of those games. Except for except for I'd like to play Dragon Quest Heroes. It cracks me up that a, a fr- one of my coworkers that has a Switch, he like was. Riding around with one with somebody, and they went to Walmart late at night, and he bought <laughs> he bought a Hyrule Warriors. Why? He's did like, he, he he was like, I is? don't know. I got drunk last night, and I bought Hyrule Warriors. <laughs> I was like, you do, you can take it back, man. He's like, I don't know, man. I already opened it up and played it a bit. He's like I already I opened it up and I, I think you I take played it, it and I love it. He Best kept it. Ever. No, he he claims he doesn't like it. Oh. He owns it, physical. Okay. Well, and bought it on impulse. I guess I guess he just wanted to own that. Own that a uh, mistake. I, guess so. I, I don't think it's a bad game. There's there's fun to be had with it, especially if you get like the ultimate version that has all the characters in there. Just playing, just the fact that you can go around and kill a bunch of people as, as Tingle is pretty cool. I just want to be a Winkle. Yeah, you can be hurt too. <laughs> 
But I mean, Tingle is pretty hilarious. Like he he does combos with like giant balloons and stuff. How did I get this move? The the spinny spiky move. Yeah. The spinny spiky Stegosaurus move. I'm just gonna keep spamming this move. Oh no, I'm dead. That's alright, I just uh, decided to shoot him. What year is this game from? I don't know. It's very... I saw a couple of them from 91. It's good looking. This looks older. You think it's older than 91? Mm. I don't think so. I don't know. I think it was this has to be 90s. 90s sometime. I'd say 96 or 97, actually, based on how... The anim how smooth the animation is. The, the bunch of the other games were from '91. I think this is a little bit older than that. What is older? This, what is this game called? Warrior? Or not? Not uh, newer than that. I mean, yeah. What's it called? This is Warrior. I forget. Something Warrior. You said it earlier. I texted it in the thing. Armored Warriors is what it's called. Ninety-four. Okay. Earlier than I would have thought. I guess it does kind of have like a metal slug look to it. Because there's a lot of army in it. Oh, cool. There's like a shooter level in there. Just the way uh, everything is like very isometric, how it's like laid out. It gives it a lot of three-dimensional depth. I don't think that uh, the whatever Raging Justice like has an online mode. Just kind of dumb. That that beat 'em up that I bought on sale. They're pretty much really? free. I don't know. I didn't try it. I Good saw uh, Redneck Zombie was on sale. Yeah, I got that game. It's pretty. It's all right if you like a if you like a rogue like uh, first person shooter game <laughs> that involves a redneck. It involves a metal mortal redneck. It's a weird game, but it was. Uh, I got my fun from it, I guess. It kind of reminds me a lot of like those uh, serious Sam games. If you remember those, just like super. Oh, solid. like the cell shaded uh, first person shooter that was before Borderlands. Yeah, well, serious Sam is like it's just super super arcade arcadey. Is what it is. What it is. It's not really like it doesn't feel like a regular first person shooter. Right. Serious Sam was like what you would call a beat em up because you fight waves and waves of guys. That's basically with, me with melee attacks. Well, you can. You can use melee attacks. Well, that's what I. There's a new one coming out. I mean, that's basically what it was. Like, I kind of got bored of it because of that because it's like here's 20 guys. Let's kill these 20 guys. And it's like, oh, okay, here's 30 guys. Kill them. And, uh, you know, jackpot something. It's the Dynasty Warriors of first-person shooters. Kind of. Except even simpler than that. Dynasty Warriors is at least, like, guarding areas and all that. This is just killing people. There's not even the strategic Dynasty Warriors-ness of it. I got a lightsaber. All right, I'm gonna go one more round, then I gotta head off. One more level? Yeah, you can beat these games in like 30 minutes, man. You could probably make it all the way through. You, you Let's see how far we are. You don't have to. This doesn't. What sucks about this and what a lot of these other ones do, it doesn't show your progress. Or no, or does it? No, it does. Some right? of them do. This shows the map, right? This game. I know that a bunch of them between the levels will this, show the map. No, most of them do. That's why I'm wondering if this one does. Like Final Fight will, like uh, Captain Commando did, that uh, War Warriors of Fate or whatever, that one does too. Hmm. 
So has it sh- has it shown us where we're at on here? Oh no, it keeps, it keeps showing the. I don't know. I think the, all these games have kind of like blurred together in my mind. That's why. I like how you can get all these different, like, robot parts to use. Yeah, this game's pretty bad, I guess. There's just a lot to it. Because I just, I was just using a drill, and I had, like, a lightsaber thing before that. Oh, we only cleared Area 2? How many areas are there? 51. <laughs> That's a lot. Oh, we combined. What are we doing? We became one. We became Voltron. That's cool. Wow. Didn't expect that. I wonder if there was like three of us, like would we become a different thing? Driving? <laughs> I think Bear is driving. <laughs> no, 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 you're, you're driving. So what are you doing? <laughs> Who's driving? Uh, I, I'm, uh, I'm shooting stuff. <laughs> I'm the gun, man. I'm the blue gun on the top. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty amazing. This is awesome. Who's driving? This looks way better than the game I'm playing. What, what, do, what you do you play? play? Acrobat? <laughs> no, I'm playing Ice Climbers right now. I was going to oh, say Ice what? Climbers, yeah. I saw you I have not on, played. I, I have not played Ice Climbers in a long time because I don't remember any of this shit. It sucks. <laughs> That's why you haven't played it. Man, the jumps suck. Uh, Oh, no, I mean, Mario Bros. controls the same way. Like that. Maybe it's the physics that are weird or whatever, but I hate it. I think because well, I, when I was playing Mario Bros., I think the main thing of it is, like, you can't really control yourself, like, in the air. Oh, yeah. right. Yep. And, and you got to, like, get a really long running start in order to, like, jump anywhere. And it just doesn't feel at all like any of the other Marios to come after. Oh, you see, you got the lightsaber now. Thanks. I wonder if there was a sequel to this game. This game is awesome. It's good. I'm surprised I never saw it anywhere. Son of a beeswax. Did you find the bird? Yeah, hey, I've, had, I've had to fend off the bird a couple times. No, there's a bird in there. You gotta, like, jump and grab onto. Yeah, see, I got, I got a drill. A drill bit here. You know, be the worst about all these arcade games is if you keep dying and hitting continue, and then later on you see your credit card bill and they charge you a quarter every time. <laughs> Damn it! I already paid. I already paid the twenty for it. Yeah. Remember that part where where we where we became one robot? That was great. That was cool. That was that was amazing. Yeah, I was there that blessed union. I was like, <laughs> if anyone has any objections, please speak up. Nobody did. No one did. Thank God. <laughs> I mean, we, we it might be a neo technical future, but people still have classical values. <laughs> we didn't. We didn't know who was driving. I think this might be the map, but it's hard to tell. Like where we're. Like what's what, you know? Because we're just going from one planet to another, and I don't know what's what. You know what needs to be destroyed. 
Right, right. All right, this is really fun. I'm gonna stick around. Okay. We have a. Uh, we have like six viewers right now, so you know. Don't leave now. Welcome everybody. Don't leave now when we actually got viewers. That's what I say. Don't let, me, don't let myself quit if I got viewers. I've never failed these six viewers before. I won't fail them now. <laughs> they want to see some destroyed robots. You actually don't know. You might have failed them sometime. <laughs> I might have failed you guys. If <laughs> yeah, I'm no. sorry. <laughs> you really don't know. No bonus. I think this is running better than when Juhan was here. I think it was his fault. <laughs> Juhan. Juhan left. Juhan left. Juhan left because. Juhan left because. Juhan left because your internet connection sucks. Probably true. Juhan was like, oh, that's this game? The robots? I don't like that game. These are not some German robots. I actually think Germany does make a lot of robots. Do they? I think they do. Probably true. They're very, like, good with industry and all that stuff, where you do robots. I've obviously done my research. <laughs> Your research is, uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe you heard it somewhere, <laughs> that Germany's good with robots. I heard they're good at making <laughs> robots because of, because of, uh... Do you, do you, Germans. do you run into a lot of German robots in, in your life? <laughs> You know what? I don't run into many robots, but the best have been German. You just, you just, they, they just walk around champagne, champagne. I almost said. Uh, <laughs> I Sherman, mean, anybody Germany. seems better than Hal, because Hal was supposedly built here in Urbana. What's he? He Hal says he was. He, wa he said he says he was in two thousand one. Yeah. Oh. Wait, because they had yeah, apparently he was, really he was built at the University of Illinois in Urbana. Oh. Because they were fancy uh, computers here, right? Yeah, yeah. So Jeremy Back then, was saying. sort of like where everything was coming from. Supposedly the internet was first developed here. I don't know how true that is, but Well, I mean, it's probably true, but it's probably like based on some technicality. This game is pretty damn epic. I'm just like picking up robots and just smashing them on the ground. It's, I like I like this uh, weapon that I have here called the uh, Gotcha Arm. I'm calling it right now. I'm just grabbing people and slamming them. That's amazing. I really want to know if there was a sequel to this game. Well, maybe we'll find it in uh, Capcom Bundle, Bundle 2. The Revenge. The, the rebundling, the the, re, the the beating, the more beating up, beat him up again, beat him with both fists. Marvel's Caps comes double beat him. Beat him <laughs> the up, third baby. one will be kick him once. What was that all about? Did, did you need a boost to get to the next level? I like this blue robot I've been using. Yeah, I got a laser cannon. Yeah, me too. Nice. You know, we, it's a, it's a limited. By the way, it's on the bottom there. Oh no, I got a different one. So you can pick up different guns because now now I got missiles. There's a lot of variety to this. Yeah, I'm gonna keep coming back to this game. 
Oh, no, stop burning me. I want their, I want their weapons. Yeah, see, now I have the flamethrower. I'll see how you feel getting burned. If you go over and grab that, then you'll have the flamethrower. I'm just gonna run over this guy. I wish you could take the robots in this game and cross over to the King Arthur game and kill all the King Arthur characters. This game is way better. <laughs> is it like, at least like, is it better than like Golden Axe? Golden Axe is probably better. Uh, Golden Axe is better. Because that game was alright. I feel like the King Arthur game might have been like the first of the bunch that they made. I'm sure it's better than Magic Sword. That game sucked. I think you ever played that one. That was, that was the other one I was trying to think of. The, it's a Capcom game. It's not, it's not very good. Imagine seeing this in the arcade in 1994. This would have been like mind blowing. Yeah, I would definitely would have played it, but I don't think I saw it anywhere. <coughs> oh look, we both got tank tank tires now. Yeah, tank treads. Of the time, I don't even realize that I've picked up a new weapon. You're right. Until I actually am using it. Well, like all of, almost all of the robots that you kill, you can take a piece of them and, and use it, <laughs> which is pretty great. Like this, I go over here and kill this laser dude. Yeah, see, now I got this mini fucking thing. I think I exploded. I have had some fun with the NES Classic, like, or the NES games that you can do the video capture, so. Every time I do something kind of yeah. that I think might be kind of cool, I can do a little video clip of it, which is fun. You know, so I've got one of me getting the, the uh, infinite lives or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. One where I beat the game small. I've got one where I beat the game with firepower. Just little clips. Yeah, I saw the one. For me to enjoy. I saw the one where you beat the game without the firepower, but you, but you, uh... But I was kind of, like, testing it a little bit and letting stuff almost kill me. I think this orange dude is my guy. I like the blue guy. Area two done. Does it let you change like between levels, or do you have to run out of like you know? It's like you're using a new quarter. Yeah, to you change can, characters. 
Yeah, you gotta die. Well, yeah, when you, when you die, you can pick a new character. Do you guys feel like this game was worth 20 bucks? What, the, the, ro bundle, yeah. the robot one on its own? The Just, whole thing. no, the bundle. No, the bundle's worth it. Yeah. I mean, I've... I've already got my fun from it. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'm not, I'm not bored with it. Like I'll, I'll keep playing it. I haven't even played all the games yet. You know. I think it's one that I will go back to for a long time, just because sometimes you just want to beat a beatable game, and there's seven of them in here. I mean, they're all a little bit interchangeable. I think this one is probably the best of the bunch. You know, maybe maybe it's Final Fight, but. Uh, I think uh, just for having a beat em up game ready to go on your Switch anytime, yeah, 20 bucks is totally worth it. This is a good week. Because I feel that way week. about, I feel that way about being able to boot up all these NES games. Like, right. 20 bucks was totally worth it. There's like nothing left of my, of my robot. Look, I'm like just a head and a gun. We got a chameleon it's been thing here too. It's been 24 hours since I bought the uh, NES controllers, and I will say, I do not regret it. No, I bought either. them. Yeah, I'm not getting those. <laughs> I mean, you didn't have to wait in a crazy line for them, you know. At least, right. yeah. You know, you're just gonna get delivered to your front door, and it's gonna be nice. That's gotta feel pretty good in comparison to like these classic systems. Right. You found the Switch like in the wild though, right? You weren't like... Because you got your Switch a little later. It, you yeah, I got mine pretty much about a year ago. Um, I did have to look for it a little bit. I I found it on Reddit. Um, there was a thread for, for posting about Switch and somebody and I checked it just randomly. The very top of the, the thread was for my neighborhood. Um, and I found it at a Target in Hollywood. Nice. Yeah, they said um, there was 12 left at the store by the time I got back oh, there. Oh, we got another person. We got somebody. Mojizu. Mo oh, yeah, Jesus back. I don't know what that... Yeah, okay. You're just in time for everything to explode. Yeah, see, now it's lagging. So maybe it's just having a hard time doing three people. Maybe so. But now it's super oh. laggy. With any luck, you'll leave. <laughs> yeah. Yep, there he goes. <laughs> he left in like two <laughs> seconds. And now it's better. Mm -hmm. so I think it is something on their end. Yeah, who knows? They might. There might be... Uh, be some bad, bad bandwidth here. Yeah, it might be. Maybe that's it because, like, Final Fight is only two players, and I played through all of that with two players, and it didn't. It, and I didn't really notice it chugging at all. But that's the only game I've really like played a lot of, so I know so I know exactly the way it should run. Destroy that scorpion. the same spot keeps slashing. Oh, so that's oh, no, how much just, we have left. It just disappeared. 
No, the, it's it's flashed and then it went away. So maybe we have three levels left. Three more. Okay. This is mission five. Maybe three missions. I don't know. That seems about right. If you can handle it. If you're bad enough. Are you bad enough to dude. rescue the princess? Or the president, I mean. The princess president. Princess president. You all know the president has more to do with Toad than the princess. Ah. <laughs> God damn it. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> We get it. We get to involve Toad in that. Keep his name out of your fucking mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Toad. He he don't he don't want to be involved with that shit, man. Toad's a peaceful lad. No, I don't know. I think it's hilarious. I just don't like uh, I don't like Nintendo being involved with that ass clown. like a cacophony of stuff happening all at once. Ultimate destruction. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like all the character designs and everything. It's just all really cool, but there's so much I feel like I haven't uh -oh. even really... Uh -oh. <laughs> we got third person again. I don't know what that is. It's Japanese. I, I know it's Japanese, but what? how to pronounce it. Hey, welcome to Lagfest number three. It's got to be something with three. Right. Which, which that sucks. Hope they fix that. I mean, why, why would you want to stay? Uh-oh. We got attacked by some giant thing. Wait, oh, we, we, we fought you before. Weren't you the... I have no time to waste on you.
Uh oh. What's happening? Continue. We all died. Oh, we, both died. we all died at the same time. For, for the first time ever. It's fine. We're we're back here. I think that's just the. It's it's like when you like in Final Fight when that happens and you're like attached to the dynamite. And you're like trying right, you trying to the knife. blow out the yeah, and then the knife falls away. Same thing. Like you're saying before, there's lots of players. And it's just they just target you. Well, so when we were playing dra Double Dragon earlier, what I was saying is like, you can charge this sword. I really like games like like this where you just have free play. And you don't have to yep. just keep going back through and fighting it over and over again. You don't have to go back to the checkpoint. You just jump back in where you were. Yeah, that's that's better. Because sometimes you just want to plow through a game. Which I just did with Mario again. Will you just be Mario? Again, yeah. I'm just... I'm happy with how the, the it works, the wireless controllers work. I'm happy. You just like you just like to play it over and over again? And in different in different di different systems. I just want to get as good as it as I used to be at it, where I can like legitimately maybe speed run it someday. I think I, you know, I'm facing insurmountable odds of really setting a record or anything, but you can maybe get like Ten. I can beat the game pretty quick. We'll be like 10th place, you know? Destroy that motherfucker. The slow mo looks really good with the leg. <laughs> it's extra slow. No, you can totally get defeated twice. We defeated you twice. Now get out of here. He looks like the all your base or belong to us guy. Someone set up us to bomb. I'll get you, Azrael. Who is the all our base become belong to us? Who's that guy? What's that from? That was from. Uh, it's a Sega game, right? Yeah, it was a Genesis game. I don't remember what the name of the game was. We got another shooting level. Jonky. Base, 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 base. Damn it, Jonky! Stop joining us. Your base. Can you turn that off I, I as know. host? I don't know how to. I checked the options earlier to see if I could make maybe make it run better. But, no. Everybody watching on Twitch, just like, tell five of your closest friends not to jump on and play this game with us. And, <laughs> you know, have them tell five friends. Do you think that, do you think they have friends that are just like they're just playing this playing this game? Everybody has later, Jockey. Tell your friends not to be our friends. What done killed me? Carpathia? What if Nintendo finally embraced, you know, the full virtual console and had 2,600 games? That'd be cool. <laughs> Just put them all out at once. That's what I'm saying. But then you'll never, like, you won't play them all. And it'll be like, you know, it'll be like when you're playing, like, ROMs and em emulators, where it's like you'll play one game and you'll be like, oh, yeah, look at this game. And then you never play it again. And then you go on to the next one. And so on and so forth for like a thousand games. I think a better sell for them is to say, hey, look, we got the entire library out right now. And then they can, rather than dealing them out, you know, week by week or whatever, 
they can focus on a game like you have a highlighted game this week we turn we uh, we became a giant robot again nice if anyone objects to this union speak now or forever <laughs> hold your peace <laughs> well yeah that's pretty cool <laughs> We were because because uh, after Jonky left, Jonky's like still in here, but computer player. So there's three of us <laughs> in this union. Wait, so where's the fucking driving? ring? Jonky's got the ring. Who's driving? God, Jonky's driving. <laughs> I, I don't know. Jonky's driving. I think I'm driving. Yeah. Are you? Yeah. No bears. I'm controlling driving. the. No, I was controlling this. The drill. I love this game. Armored Warriors. Yep. Yeah, they should bring this one back. Give, give it a, you know, give it a new game. I like how everybody in River City Ransom just keeps saying barf. Yeah. <laughs> barf. Yeah, when you hit him. And you can you can uh, level up by eating sushi. It's the kind of world I want to live in. Is that what the food is at the restaurants? Is to level you up? Yeah, it'll like up your stats. I think it feels it feels kind of random. It might be random how it does it, but yeah, that's how you that's how you level up. Kind of River City random. Yep. River City random. Riverside ransom. And there's like a lot of like characters that you don't know who they are. They're like they're like the Billy and Ryan and Christy and Sammy went over here and did this, and I'm like who who. I thought maybe that was just like the generic name for you and your second player, but no, those are different people because you run into them later. There's nudity in that game. Is there? There is. I didn't get that far. Yeah. There's a part where uh, it shows him in the bathroom. I say some shower. sushi. Yeah, so you get you get upgrades. Be like your agility rises fourteen or whatever. Ooh, look at this weapon. I like how you had to keep carrying your weapon with you, unlike Double Dragon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can carry those tires forever. They have a lot. I mean, they have a lot of similarities. I have a whip. I have a chain whip. Yeah, those whips are there too. Oh no! I accidentally threw it and got rid of it immediately. There's a, there's a lot of like similarities in the art design between uh, River City and, and Double Dragon. But this is it, also kind of got its own like River, established art style. Well, River City is like a little bit more chibi, but their arms look the same. Like the weapons are the same. They just have uh, they they just look more detailed in, in Double Dragon. 
Probably because, I don't know, because it's single player plus sprites or whatever. I do recognize some similar stuff, though, that reminds me of Double Dragon. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm walking over, like, a, a construction pit right now that reminds me of that level two part. Well, you you also run into that, like, that wall that you can climb up. That's in there, too. Except you can't climb up it, but it's, it's smaller. There There is totally that exact same wall that you got stuck in. And you can run into the wall and hurt yourself. Yeah, you can. Apparently that's like a series though, right? Because there's like a bunch of sequels. There was even a new... There was a new River City Rampage game for 3DS. Not that came out not that long ago. I thought that was an indie. I remember that. No, that, that's no. a Retro City Rampage. Nope, not that but, one. Uh, there, there's that's a crappy indie game. No, oh, okay. There, no, there's a real actual sequel to to River City Rampage that came out on 3DS. River City Ransom. Whatever. Uh, River City Ransom. Yes, it's called something else, but no, there is a sequel to it on on a 3DS. I actually thought about getting it, but it was kind of pricey. USIPQ has joined us. We have two more levels. This is a pretty long game. Not for long. It is a pretty lengthy game. Truth. Mission 6, Truth. Slow motion strutting. Let's see, uh, what's what's the normal like uh, amount of time for these guys to stay here? Uh, two seconds. And the uh, what is it? A super dodgeball. The characters look the same as River City Rampage or er, Ransom. There he goes. Get out of here, Yusuf Q. It's like you want to fight robots? Because uh, I, I like fighting robots. So. so this this blue guy must be whoever we're chasing. Right. Well, he keeps talking to us. I think he's the end guy. He's the one that we're uh, chasing here. What did I do? You explode some shit. Did you hit A and B at the same time? Or a Y and B? No. Oh. It's, it's A and B. I just did it too. It's like your, um, you know, it's like your spin move. We'll get you out of harm's way.
Oh shit, it's like just like Double Dragon. Wait, wait. There's that wall, there's two rails on the wall. Yeah, you found it. <laughs> uh. Mockers that one. Humans into cyborgs. What? No, this must be one of the good guys because he's like they'll pay for it. The blue dude. We're the bad guys. No, I mean he's a uh, he's gotta be oh. one one of us or who's commanding us or yeah. something. Yeah. That's what I think. I mean, the story on this is pretty light. Not a lot of story here.
Kel. Go away, Kel. <laughs> Damn it. You don't want any part of this. <laughs> I wonder how many people have joined in, uh, in our adventure here. No, where's my cat at? He's on here. <laughs> he is, he's joined. Kel is now now part of the uh, part of the robot world. Didn't didn't I play Kel in, uh, in Mario Tennis? Yeah, we made a joke about that. So uh, yeah, so I fought this person before. This is one of your friends, Kel Kel Kellywood. That it actually didn't slow down that much. That Kel left anyway. <laughs> Kel. <laughs> Kel has reappeared in your house now. Yeah, he's back on his chair. I see him. He's sleeping. He's like, well, I thought I'd try it for a second, but... We gotta be getting close here. This, feel, so. this feels like a last level. No, no Jackie. Jackal C. <laughs> Jackal C1. Jack will see that this is gonna suck and it'll leave. We're uh, we're pretty popular here. People keep trying to join us because we're almost at the end. Oh, look at this guy, it's purple, oh, yellow hair. He forgot to put on his full avocado mask. <laughs> you are a test subject. Prepare to get rolled. Let me say that because they got like you know wheels in their hands. The wheels on the hands go round and round. Behold my might. You got a cool finisher. Yeah, this one. It's like, it's like the, it's like the, uh, yeah. <laughs> See, it reminds me of like, like the Matrix from the Transformers, Transformers movie. Might as well just let it all out. We're at the end here. I think we still have one more level. And maybe. Because last we checked the map, there were two of those pink spots. Yeah. This just felt like a last level, though. Yeah, Jack will see you get out of here. Jackals. Maybe I I a could... lot of this game feels like a last level. There's so much happening. Yeah. But there's actually, like, you know, talking going on. Normally that's a last sure. level thing. Somebody being like, I can't believe you made it here. Blah, blah, blah. Sassoon Five. <laughs> Sassoon Five, get out. Get out of here. I, I think I would have to start at the beginning and make it like a private room or something. Probably, yeah. But I can't. As far as right now, I can't do it. Aside from, you know, quitting. and We've come too far for that. Yeah, I think next time you go to join or create lobby, I think you just created a game. And I had to go to join game. So I, I think that's like open to the public. Yeah I, don't, I, yeah, I don't remember there being a whole lot of options, but I'll have to look at it again. Anyway. I just went to online. I just went to online mode and went to like create. Done. Yeah. But there's more. There's another area. I think it's the thing is that like each area that we're in has multiple areas. This is a big game. But you are only human. Later, Sassoon V. <laughs> <laughs> like ten people. <laughs> and they leave so quickly too. Now, now you fight two of these guys. Where am I at? 
I'm like behind somebody. Oh, I'm dead. That's where I'm at. I'll fuck you up. Oh, they just combined into one, too. I have something to say against this union. <laughs> <laughs> A few of these beat em up games do it, but I like it where it's like the big, where you had the big life bar at the bottom of the screen. I like that. I think a Warriors of Fate does that too. Where the enemies have a big life bar? Yeah, instead of just having a little life bar but under your life bar, there's like a big one at the bottom of the screen. Like when you're fighting a boss, you know. Alright, right. Like what it's doing right now. I'm trying to figure out how to tell when I have enough energy to do my super move. I think it's... I don't see that indicator. I think it basically takes some of your life away when you do it. Uh, okay. So you can do it like three times. Or two times. Got it. It's like, it, you know, it's like the spin attack from a Final Fight. Same thing with that. You lose some of your life every time you do it. Or from the Turtles 3. Mm-hmm. Well, in Turtles 2, you had, like, a special move you could do. Or Turtles 1, I mean. Are you talking about Manhattan Project? Manhattan Project, yes. That, ga that game's awesome, too. I do love it. I love it. I actually, I think that's better than the arcade game. That's what I've heard. I've never really played the Manhattan Project. Yeah, I like it better than the arcade game. Uh, one of the main reasons is because you can do super moves in that one. And I would oh, use I Raphael, know. and he had this one where you just a, you'd turn into a drill when you fly across the screen. It's like some Street Fighter shit. Well, there you go. Yeah, I'm telling you, you need super moves in there. It makes it a lot more fun. I, I, what I really like about Final Fight 3 is they're like finishing moves almost. You could like do these special moves when you when you uh, grab the person. And like the, the screen ever even like turns dark when you do it. So it's like a feels like a, it feels like a finishing move. This is impossible. I can't be defeated by you. Oh, this is Purple Dude again. Oh, was that the last guy? No, okay. I don't know. I don't fucking know, man. It might. Well, let's see. I mean, everything's blowing up. Yeah, we gotta we gotta stop him from escaping, right? Yeah, we gotta go to the battleship. Final mission. Final mission. All right. Joel, no. <laughs> go away, Joel. <laughs> Joel, we're trying to mooch on all our effort and jump in at the final mission. Sorry, Ocean. I like I like Sassoon V. <laughs> Whoever that guy was. I liked uh, Juhan. Juhan. What was that guy's name again? Juhan left. <laughs> <laughs> Joel R. just joined and, and will very quickly leave. Alright, so we got 10 minutes left. This is our final mission. 
we have made it this far without the help of Joel or mind you I've officially played every game on um, the service on the NES yeah, yeah. I, was, I, was, I was playing Ghouls and Ghosts for a little while what's yeah. your favorite game on the service uh Mario no it's probably actually Zelda for what I don't know no that's not fair it is Mario but Zelda's got the most potential I think to show what people could do if they like work together to beat something like I think somebody's gonna do a cool like cool up video of that it, game and yeah. people are gonna like it I think it's held on the longest out of all the people. And then, then he's going to drop out around when I say that. There's no prize for sticking around, Joel R. Just go. the laggiest it's been. The laggiest lag and all the lags. The laggiest. I mean, I, I played in a, in a laggy one for a pretty long time. Three players. So, I'm sure there's some people out there that'll, that'll be able to take it. it sucks for the, that it's like the last level, though. I mean like to see it run then it's nope he's gone all right get out of here get out of here joel i had enough of you and your r's no, no go away <laughs> damn it joel come on man You'll leave right away you were already here go away When I was trying to leave, leave immediately, <laughs> I would. I would leave. I mean, it's your place, man. Yep. And there he goes. Good riddance. Stop trying. Go to bed, Joel. It's late. <laughs> We'll start your own game lobby. Oh, 
Oh no. She's doing so well. What are you playing now? Gradius. No. Damn it. Everybody wants to be a part of this ending here. But I don't like it. No, stole my orange guy. So you can't you can't both be orange? No. It's actually running okay right now. Nola's the only one that had the okay internet. I mean, all those like fifty other people can't all have bad internet. Or can they? Maybe Nola isn't really here at all. That's why his name is Mill. Need Null and Void. Right. See, has no effect on the internet quality. I got fucking like spider legs now. Oh whoa, look at this thing. It's like a weird snaky dragon thing. You must be the end guy. Yeah, this is like the this this is like the spider that you fight at the end of Doom. Spoilers. If you haven't, if you haven't gotten there yet, then I can spoil it for you. Looks like the fucking spider dude though. Like the spider guy mixed with those, with that two-headed thing from Willow. I forgot about the two-headed thing from Willow. I love that thing. <laughs> I had a toy of that thing. I think I might still have it remember. in my mom's house. You don't remember the two-headed thing? No, yeah, I remember going to see Willow in the theater. It's 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 I like it's thing. great. It's like this giant stop-motion like dragon thing with two heads. Like Mad Morgan stabs it through the head, like into like like into the mouth. Do you remember that? No, I gotta look that up. Like Willow does like some spell on the uh, on one of the trolls, and it turns into this giant two-headed monster thing. It's like it's like pretty much the best part of the whole movie. Is that the end, or is there more? I bet I'm guess, guessing there's more. I bet there's another final boss after this. Probably. Either way, I hate that Noel is here sharing this moment. You didn't deserve it, Noel. Yeah, you didn't. <laughs> you didn't spend the time. Take this module with you, man. I think this is the final battle. Did they say it? Yeah, he did say it. Oh, now we're now we're one again. <laughs> and, and, and is is Noel controlling this? Because I'm not controlling it. Well, I'm controlling it. Okay, good. That's what my special move is with the spider legs, is I turn into like a giant fan. Oh no, that's just my jump move. It's a pretty rad move. Oh. That's a cool boss. The, the two head? Yeah. 
can see it now. You remember the two-headed thing from Willow, right? Um, no. So you guys didn't watch that movie? I watched it, but no reason. It's truly the most memorable part. No idea. Last time I saw it was definitely like in the early 90s. Like the last time you saw it was when it came out, you mean? <laughs> no, I, I saw it when it, I saw it in the theater when it came out. It's, it's, yeah. I think the last time was like maybe around 94 or 95. I had it on VHS. I'm not sure if I still do, but at some point I had it. I got it. On, I got it on DVD. But you know, it's it's a movie. I like um, not Val Kilmer, the other guy that's important in the movie. Willow. <laughs> no, what's his name though? Warwick Davis. Warwick Davis. Yeah, Warwick Davis. Yeah, I like him. Did you know he played Chewbacca? <laughs> he was one. Of, he was one of the Star Wars characters. I know. Yeah, he was Wicket. Oh, Wicket. Yeah, he was like eleven when he played Wicket. No, I've seen like interviews, he was, he was and he was just young. like, he was just like starstruck, and he just was like asking for like, can he get? Could he get Star Star Wars toys or something like that? Like he just wanted like to collect the toys. Yeah, he was a he was a kid when he was in that. So just a kid. And then he was like 17 when he was in Willow, I think. He's super young. Noel just left the game right after we defeated the boss. What an asshole. Why would you not stick around and see the ending? He's like, I've, he's like, I've done what I needed to do. I came in and helped them beat the <laughs> boss. I was so important to the ending of this game. <laughs> I'm not here to pay the tab. I just came to have a couple of drinks. <laughs> the ship is spiraling down. Alpha Flood? What? We're at the end. Get out. <laughs> Got your picture. We have, a, we have a pretty good, a pretty, pretty pretty good crew watching us here. It just seems like uh, once a third player is added, it starts to lag a lot. That's yeah. what I've noticed. But the stream, like whenever it's just a two v plan, it's been pretty smooth. Yeah. No, I mean I think that I don't know. Maybe it only works well with two, which which sucks. Because there's like, you know, three player, four player games on here. But we did it. We made it. I guess that's it. And I guess that guy just joined to see the end cinematic. <laughs> yeah, right? What's, what's going on here? We're, we're just like floating in space. You know, that's what people do when they defeat giant mech bosses. That was a close one. Could have been hiding such a strong military force. Finally, Raya is free. Thanks for the help, buddy. Thank you, blue hair. You didn't strike me as a buddy I guy. wish I had finished putting my avocado mask on. <laughs> He sure does. Most of the Ryan cities have been devastated. That's what you say. I don't know if we can meet up with them every time. 
you did well. My face is very scratched. Every one of these games has a Hagar. He's the Hagar. <laughs> is he the Hagar? Oh, that's sad. I wouldn't want any robots to be stuck in space like the one from Portal. Man, that's a sad robot. They're going to come get us. The headphones send somebody out. <laughs> Lead us to the headquarter. <laughs> just, the, just the one headquarter. I don't need the others. You lead us to headquarter. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Somebody said the space line from uh... space. Yeah, yeah. Demon werewolf said that on our, on our, on the comments. Yeah, yeah. In reference to the the, uh, the robots the in space. Pod that got stuck in space, but at least uh, you know he's not alone up there. He's got a uh, Wheatley or Wheatley or whatever his name is up Tw there. Twenty two eighty three. So at least we uh, got a long time till this will happen. Yeah, there's a lot of time to like stock up on canned goods. <laughs> but get all the bread and milk in the world. Apparently, that's what people buy when they're when they uh, think they're gonna think they're gonna get stranded somewhere. All right, fourth place. I want to get fourth. Oh, I can keep going. Why does it start at fourth? Or why isn't it first, second, third? I guess we didn't do that well. We're going to find out. Just, yeah, just go back. There you go. Should show. I don't, I don't know how that worked either. I think I. Game yeah, I don't over. know. Do you, can you jump around in different games? That doesn't make any sense. No, I think it... What do you mean? Oh, uh, Demon Werewolf's asking how did the last minute player 2 get 5th place just from <laughs> jumping in at the very end. Right. I don't know. Yeah, that's that's pretty crappy. But uh, I guess Bab and Cap and IE uh, beat me. Dang it, IE. Not again. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. This has been... Uh, we played this... Uh, what was, what's this game called? Armored Warrior? Armored Warrior. It's awesome. Yeah. It's a cool game. Uh, on the uh, Capcom bundle for Nintendo Switch, of course. Look out for 2281. That's when everything's going to go to shit. Anyway, speaking of going to shit, I'm going to go to bed. Um, but, <laughs> but, but thanks. I hope, I hope it's not like, full of shit already. No. I mean, I, what I meant was... Speaking of going somewhere, I'm going to go to bed. There you but, uh, <laughs> At least wake dress up. Hey, I've moved to the couch first. You know? yeah. But yeah, uh, you know, listen to us at NintendoMainPodcast.com on Fridays. And thanks for watching the stream. We will have more streams up, of course, in the later time of the future. I'm tired. i got to go to bed. Peace out. Like, comment, subscribe, follow me. Send me some hate mail. <laughs>